I didn't film all the cutting that I did for my bed frame, so I'm just going to show you. I've got my pieces cut for my frame. This is the top of the bed that's going to get hinged. And this is the bottom of the bed. It's got warping going on, and so I'm hoping that it's not going to yank the frame up. We're going <laughs> to pray for me <laughs> that this all works. <laughs> Hi there everybody coming at you from my front yard i am making a bed frame for my new van build i'm excited about my new van build i did a video the other day where i moved up everything around in there trying to figure it out i finally got it figured out i'm so excited so today it's building the frame it's going to be 65 inches long and it's going to be 34 inches wide which is an inch wider, no, two inches wider than my original bed that I had in there. And it is two inches longer than the original bed that I had in there. I'm gonna do a split at 27 inches so that I can lift it up, get into the trunk area, plus it will be my seating for um, my living space and then I'll fold it down and make it my bed. This is the bottom of the bed. This is the top of the bed. The right side is down. We don't wanna have the right side up. I have written on all of these where they go. This is bottom. This is the first one to get put on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it and screw it and clamp it. That's what we're gonna do. three sides are done because the other side got done last night. That is over here. This one. So that is the bottom half of my platform so far. taking the top part of this frame down so that the legs when they are inside in the back of the van they will not be interfered with so I need to have them at five inches away from the load line so that's what I'm doing so far I don't have the legs hooked on yet that is the part of the bed that will be inside the van closest to the side door so these legs are 11 inches long these are 9 inches long and I have no idea how long the legs are supposed to be back here the trunk space next thing to do is to put the hinges on the bed just continue to dry and I'm done for now it's too hot out here I am not gonna film doing this but I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing this two by two right here. I've got it marked to cut. I'm going to glue it on to this board and screw it like I've done everything else here so that it'll flatten out before I put it on top of the frame and put the hinges on it. 
So I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to do one down here and I'm going to do one up here as well. So I have my frame put in my van and it's nice and level. It looks really good. And then I've got a bungee right here because I need to get the measurement from there to the floor so I can put the legs in over here. The measurement over here is 19 inches and the measurement over here is 17 inches. You know, it might be 19 because I just lifted it up. I'm going to make both legs 19 inches. That should do it. Yeah. All right. I got sawing to do. Okay, so I got the leg on there. That was not fun <laughs> trying to get those brackets on there. Now I have to screw in the screws. It is a tight fit. It was really hard to get these legs on here, but they're there. I'm getting eaten, so I gotta get out of here. I'll work on it tomorrow. I have got my bed finished. I am so happy it's done. So you can see I have it up in the mode that it would be in if I were using it as a chaise or needing to get into anything underneath it. So I will put the bed down after I show you the features. So this leg, these legs were really hard to put in. Ended up the wood splitting. I couldn't get the screws all the way in. I put these here for added support. This one's a little bit better added support over here because this is a fairly flimsy frame actually. But I then uh, glued and screwed the two by two there and then one here this sits outside of the frame right here so I'm gonna drop this take the wood off and there it is in all of its glory <laughs> and I've loaded it with a few things just to get an idea of what I can put under it. So I've got two big bins over there. I know I'm up and down on this video. This is the mattress that I'm going to be putting out in the van. Well, I hope it inflates to the six inches promised. It isn't doing much of anything, so I'll come back in a little while and see if there's any progress. Okay, the mattress has inflated almost to its total height. I have decided I'm going to leave the width on this mattress. I'm just going to take off the length at the bottom, and I'll show you that. So I'm going to be cutting off that much of the mattress, but I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and leave the width. I've decided I cannot use the bins under here. They just won't fit. So I've got to come up with solutions on how to pack when I go camping. Once the length is off of this, that's going to open that floor back up again, which will be really nice. I've got my bed made. It is so cute. I'm going to be changing out the uh, pockets that my Reflectix are in. I'm going to have everything lavender in here. So, here's a little view. Sorry about being so dark. I brought in some things. I've got my 12 volt fridge in here. I put my food underneath right in front here. I have plenty of floor space. My toilet sitting right there. I've got my, in the back I have my box kitchen box only it's going to be filled with other things now that I've got my kitchen but yeah 
I'm really happy with this bigger bed. It's a full size twin, except I shortened it and I'm gonna love it. <laughs> also, I still need to make a cut in the mattress uh, so I can raise it up into Che's position. I'm waiting until I get the, in, the bag that you zip it up in and then I will cut it and put it inside that bag after it's cut. So what do you guys think of my new, better version of my van build? <laughs> Leave a comment below what you think. I've hung my, oh, that needs to turn around and go the other way. I've got my curtains up here. They're the perfect length for in here. I didn't have to sew them or anything. They're 45 inches. My little kitchen's sitting over there. Pots and pans are gonna sit right there. There's my water bottle, that's a half a gallon. The rest of my water's in the trunk. I also have enough headroom. It's barely enough, but I have headroom and I'm happy about that as well. Okay guys, once I get the Reflectix all changed out, it's gonna look really pretty in here. I've got two three feet by four foot eight rugs in here and they fit perfectly almost to the edge, but not quite. I know I went with dark blue. I'm gonna have to vacuum a lot, <laughs> but it looks so pretty. It just looks gorgeous. So that's my rug. And underneath it, I have just one layer of the exercise pads for insulation. I have one water bottle here. I'll have another one over on this side right there. There's my kitchen box. It's still in here. Um, that's my solar panel sitting on top. I've got towels in this little tote right here and detergent and my mosquito net. And this is the back side looking in. I'm very happy with it. It's gonna be so comfortable to sleep in here. All right, guys, I think I'm out of here now. <laughs> See you in the next one.